Like I said, Donald Trump has uh, has been an equal opportunity insulter. He's he's insulted and been vulgar about not only Secretary Clinton but uh, Carly Fiorina, Megyn Kelly, even me. Um, it, it's uh, it, it's really outrageous the the deaths and how low he has allowed this, the campaign to sink, and the rest of the Republican field, Andrea, is going along Why with. Why is it? <laughs> All right, I, 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 I always have to chuckle when I watch her, otherwise I cry. Uh, joining us now is Brent Badowski, contributor for The Hill, former aide to Senator Lloyd Benson. It's you and me today, sir. How are you? I'm sorry about your Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers yesterday. No, it's, it's, it, it's good to be here, and if you can handle the strip tease, I am wearing a Green Bay Packer T-shirt under this. No, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll take your word for that. Um, <laughs> all right, so let me ask you this. Um, Bill, Crystal, Bill Crystal was on the show, and he said that if it's Hillary and uh, running against Donald Trump in a general election, not only can an independent come in, he thought, and possibly win, but he also said that Hillary, uh, Donald would take some conservative Democrats, and Hillary might take some liberal Republicans. It would be a mishmash. Now, you come out with a column talking about uh, how Sanders appear appeals to some Trump voters how so and in what regard well what I said is he is trying to appeal to some uh, the ones he might be able to appeal to or a minority of Trump voters who are concerned with economic focus populism anti big banks etc he won't appeal uh, to most of them but Bernie's issue is to try to get independents and Democrats to vote for him in the New Hampshire primary where he is leading right now, according to most polls. And I think that's the game that he's playing. All right, that's New Hampshire, and he does have a good, I don't know about the, I don't know how many Trump supporters uh, would, would, would subscribe to Bernie Sanders' type of economics, but that aside for a moment, uh, you wrote also that if Sanders wins Iowa, then, as you put it, all hell breaks loose. What are the chances of Bernie Sanders winning Iowa, and what would your version of hell breaking loose look like? Well, I, I wrote in the Observer last week uh, at Observer.com that I, I think there's about a 40% chance that Bernie wins Iowa. And if I'm wrong, the odds are probably a little bit higher. If he wins Iowa, he then goes into New Hampshire with the head of steam, where there is a high chance he then wins New Hampshire on top of Iowa. That, I think, is a very plausible scenario. The point I was making in the Observer column is that the media would then have to give Bernie the coverage that he deserves and has not been getting. Uh, I mean, sooner or later, I'm going to do a column about media malpractice and Donald Trump. I think they are way out of control. Bernie is, is having trouble getting any media attention for himself. He is stronger than people think in Iowa because his social media support, his grassroots support, will come out to vote in the caucuses. I'd still bet on Hillary in Iowa, but not by much. He has a chance to pull a big upset. But, Brett, but if he Brett, wins it, Iowa Brett, and then wins New Hampshire, right. I don't think he'll be nominated, but I think all hell breaks loose politically. All right, but, but why doesn't Bernie, first of all, two things, and we've got two minutes. Why doesn't Bernie differentiate himself from Hillary more? Why, how many times in the debates has he come to her defense, stroked her, said, oh, I, I'm, I agree, I'm sick of hearing about this, first the emails and then something else, and sticking up for her against uh, O'Malley? I mean, why doesn't he just go after her? Well, Bernie's whole uh, modus operandi throughout his career has been to avoid negative attacks, to, to stick to issues, to raise the causes he believes in, in this case, income equality and, and fair wages and things like that. And he just doesn't do negative. Bernie is the exact opposite of Trump in many ways. And I think for his purposes, that serves him. He's not an attack politician. He's a conviction and cause politician. Right, I got and I think that's what he wants to be. It works well for him. And that's how he's playing it. Right. He's also made global warming the cent one of the centers of his campaign economically and when it comes to terrorism, which I think is comedic. And there's a new Pew survey out. Of 40 industrialized nations, the citizens of the United States are so less so on the bottom of con when it comes to concern over global warming or climate change. At, there are 36 nations where the people care more out of the 40. 36 care more than Americans care. How do you run a campaign based on that then? 
Well, it's one of Bernie's issues. I did see that Newsmax was killing the polar bears earlier today. That's okay. Well, uh, well, I, I don't even know what you mean. What do you mean killing with the polar bears? On, on, on climate change. But that is not his mean? major what issue. What do you mean That's killing That's not the... his major issue. Okay, what do you mean they're killing the polar bears? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just giving you some trouble. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you're attacking Al Gore. I saw that. that you can't <laughs> fool me there, uh, Well, I didn't, I didn't, no, know, I, I didn't um, know that Al Gore... Climate change is not the number one issue. I didn't know that Al Gore was a polar bear. I thought he was a laughing hyena. Anyway, Brett, got to go. Better luck to the Packers next week. Hey, have a happy, healthy New Year. We'll see you next year, my friend. You too. Happy for everybody. Go Packers. All right. Sounds good. Give me fivers next, folks. <laughs> Don't go away.